Nice. Ooh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Folks, we are not in North Dakota. We are in central Wisconsin, and I don't care where you're at, a perch like that uh, is good anywhere you fish. I'm gonna let her go. She's got plenty of eggs. No sense keeping any fish like that. We got, if it's a bluegill, it's, <laughs> I don't think it's a bluegill. Oh yeah. Oh, come here, buddy. Ryan, this is your fish, here. What's that? Big old bucket mouth. Part of the bluegill family, I guess. You know where you're gonna find uh, big bluegills? Probably a good chance that there's gonna be some big bass swimming around as well. Wisconsin bluegills right there. There's a good one, right? Oh yeah, look at this. Ah, big old Wisconsin crappie. You know, we just got back from Canada catching fish like that. And uh, there's no need to travel when you can catch them this big, you know, right here in the good old heart of Wisconsin. That's probably what, pushing 13 and a half or so. Real pretty. Look at the colors. I still say this is one of the prettiest fish that swims in our waters. Here we go. That one. Beautiful. Nice fish, Ryan. Nice try. You know, when you're fishing these cribs, um, these bluegills, you'll get on top of a giant log crib like what we're fishing here, and uh, you'll find around the perimeter, you're gonna have a lot of small fish. Uh, I think they'll, those fish just kind of sit around the edge, um, which gives them a quick way out when the big predators, the pike or the bass, come in and try and figure out what's going on. If those small fish are on the perimeter, poof, they're gone. Uh, whereas the bigger fish will usually sit right inside the logs or in the center of the brush piles um, that are more dead center in the crib. So when you get on top of a crib, drill a bunch of holes. You know, it's nice to have the aqua view uh, to be able to see, you know, where exactly you're positioned and then uh, set up your holes in your shack and uh, give you a better opportunity to catch the bigger ones. The diversity of uh, the central Wisconsin lakes is pretty unique. You've got some lakes that have absolutely no cover, so what they've done is they put some cribs uh, in these deeper lakes. And then we've got some other lakes that have uh, a ton of cabbage and weeds that these fish can really roam around on. Uh, now the lake that we're on here is actually one of the lakes that has all kinds of cribs. And what's funny is you'll find some cribs that have a lot of fish that are dormant, and then you'll have some fish that are some cribs that'll have a lot of fish that are active. So really you just gotta keep Keep moving around, use the aqua view, find the active fish, and uh, get on them. So we're off to the next one. When we're out here punching holes on these cribs, you know, we're drilling a ton of holes. And uh, having a dependable auger is probably the most crucial part for, for getting a job done. You know, with the Eskimo augers, I've got the Z51, Ryan here's got the HC40, the propane, and uh, our camera guy's got the M43. Um, all three are great augers, you know, and then you, you've also got the Stingray, a lighter version. Uh, but one thing, you know, with Eskimos, they've been building augers since 1960. And uh, they're, they're gonna put their money where their mouth is this year, and they're gonna offer a five-year warranty on all their augers. That is really making a statement. That's telling you that uh, you can go out, fish, fish your heart out, drill as many holes, and uh, they're gonna take care of you. Uh, you know, that says a lot for a company, and you know, me as a guide using this thing on a daily, on a daily basis, uh, I really put these things to the test and don't have to worry about coming out and having an auger fail. So take a look, check out all the Eskimo augers at www.geteskimo.com. That's a good, good one. There's a nice gill. There you go, there we go. You know, you move around enough cribs, that's the key today is just keep moving, keep trying different cribs, and eventually you get on them. Oh, there you go. Here, let me help with that. Nice, nice. nice. There we go. <laughs> 
come on, buddy. It's not as big as the other one before, but it's still uh, nice crappies. Just as the sun's starting to come down here. I feel good Wisconsin eater. And, you know, as the sun's setting here on these cribs, um, you know, what's neat is, you know, the light's gonna go down, we'll probably lose the camera stuff, but uh, we'll stay here and bluegills will kind of disperse, the crappies will really come up onto these cribs. And, uh, you know, sometimes you can fish them at night with a lantern too. But, uh, you know, hey, we had uh, a wonderful day, caught a bunch of different species of fish today and uh, really put the equipment to the test. And, uh, you know, that's fishing, it's not catching, you can't catch them all, all the time, but uh, we had fun anyway. So, I'm Troy Peterson, Mr. Bluegill from Eskimo with my buddy Ryan here and uh, Midwest Outdoors, we'll be right back. <laughs>